السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد all thanks and praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may his peace and blessings be upon his last and final messenger his family his companions and those who follow them until the end of times welcome to lesson number 126 of tafsir al-jalalin alhamdulillah in our last lesson together we were able to cover verses 91 to 108 of Surah Hud. So inshallah today we're going to pick up right where we left off with verse number 109. <laughs> فَلَا تَكُ فِي مِرْيَةٍ مِّمَّا يَعْبُدُ هَاؤُلَاءَ مَا يَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا كَمَا يَعْبُدُ آبَاؤُهُمْ مِّن قَبْلِ وَإِنَّا لَمُوَفُّوهُمْ نَصِيبَهُمْ غَيْرَ مَنْقُوصٍ وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ فَاخْتُلِفَ فِيهِ وَلَوْلَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ لَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ وَإِنَّهُمْ لَفِي شَكٍّ مِّنْهُ مُرِيبٍ وَإِنَّ كُلًّا لَمَّا لَيُوَفِّيَنَّهُمْ رَبُّكَ أَعْمَالَهُمْ إِنَّهُ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَمَنْ تَابَ مَعَكَ وَلَا تَطْغَوْا إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا فَتَمَسَّكُمُ النَّارُ وَمَا لَكُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ مِنْ أَوْلِيَاءَ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَيِ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إن الحسنات يذهبن السيئات ذلك ذكرى للذاكرين واصبر فإن الله لا يضيع أجر المحسنين فلولا كان من القرون من قبلكم أولو بقية ينهون عن الفساد في الأرض إلا إلا قليلا ممن أنجينا منهم واتبع الذين ظلموا ما أترفوا فيه وكانوا مجرمين وما كان ربك ليهلك القرى بظلم وأهلها مصلحون قال الإمام جلال الدين السيوتي رحمه الله تعالى فلا تك يا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في مرية شك مما يعبد هؤلاء من الأصنام أنما نعذبهم كما عذبنا من قبلهم وهذا تسلية للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وما يعبدون إلا كما يعبد آباؤهم أي كعبادتهم من قبل وقد عذبناهم وَإِنَّا لَمُوَفُّوهُمْ مِثْلَهُمْ نَصِيبَهُمْ حَظَّهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ غَيْرَ مَنْقُوصٍ أي تَامًا Now here in verse 109, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directly. And this is part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consoling, comforting, and reassuring the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَلَا تَكُوا فِي مِرِيَةٍ مِمَّا يَعْبُدُ هَاُولَى That... Don't be in doubt about what those worship. Don't be a doubt regarding what they worship. ما يعبدون إلا كما يعبد آباؤهم من قبل. They worship nothing except what their forefathers worshipped before them. وإنا لموفوهم نصيبهم غير منقوص. And we will certainly give them their share of punishment in full, without any reduction. So here Imam Suyuti rahimullah he says فَلَا تَكُوا يَا مُحَمَّدُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَيْسَى سَلَّمْ فِي مِرِيَةٍ شَكٍ مِمَّا يَعْبُدُ هَاُولَاءِ مِنَ الْأَصْنَامِ That don't be, O Muhammad صلى الله عَيْسَى سَلَّمْ in doubt regarding what they worship. Right, literally what these people worship. Meaning the mushrikun of Mecca مِنَ الْأَصْنَامِ in terms of idols and statues. 
So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't be in doubt about what these, meaning these pagans worship, in terms of statues and idols. Because we will punish them just as we punish those that came before them. And this is consolation, comfort, reassurance for the Prophet Right, They are not worshipping except as their forefathers used to worship. Eh? كَعِبَادَتِهِمْ مِنْ قَبْلْ Before. وَقَدْ عَذَّبْنَاهُمْ And we punished them. وَإِنَّا لَمُوَفُّوهُمْ مِثْلَهُمْ نَصِيبَهُمْ حَظَّهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ غَيْرَ منقوس. And we will certainly give them their share in full. So وَإِنَّا لَمُوَفُّوهُمْ مِثْلَهُمْ Right? We will give them their share. نَصِيبَهُمْ حَظَّهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ We will give them and those similar to them, their share of punishment in full. غَيْرَ منقوس, Without any reduction, a tam. Meaning the punishment that they are going to receive is going to be a full and complete punishment that is commensurate to their um, disbelief and their crimes and their opposition and their mockery and their ridicule. قَالَ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ التَّوْرَاةَ فَاخْتُلِفَ فِيهِ بِالتَّسْدِيقِ وَالتَّكْذِيبِ كَالْقُرْآنِ وَلَوْلَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ بِتَأْخِيرِ الْحِسَابِ وَالْجَزَاءِ لِلْخَلَائِقِ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ لَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا فِيمَا اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ وَإِنَّهُمْ أَيْئًا مُكَذِّبِينَ بِهِ لَفِي شَكٍّ مِنْهُ مُرِيبٍ مُوقِعٍ فِي الرِّيبَةِ وَإِنَّ بِالتَّشْدِيدِ وَالتَّخْفِيفِ كُلًّا أي كل الخلائق لما ما زائدة واللام موطئة لقسم مقدر أي فارقة وفي قراءة بتشديد لما بمعنى إلا فإن نافية ليوفينهم ربك أعمالهم أي جزاءها إنه بما يعملون خبير عالم ببواطنه كظواهره so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابِ فَاخْتُلِفَ فِيهِ Certainly, we had given Musa alayhi salam the scripture. But differences arose regarding it. وَلَوْلَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ لَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ Had it not been for a prior decree from your Lord, their differences would have been settled. وَإِنَّهُمْ نَفِي شَكٍّ مِّنْهُ مُرِيبٍ They are truly in alarming doubt about it. Or they are in grave doubt about it. So here Allah, uh, Imam uh, Suyuti Rahimah says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ التَّوْرَةِ That surely, certainly we gave Musa alayhi salam the scripture meaning, التَّوْرَةِ فَاخْتُلِفَ فِيهِ And then there were differences about it. بِالتَّسْدِيقِ وَالتَّكْذِيبِ some believed it and some rejected it. Meaning some became believers and some became non-believers. Quran. Just as with the Quran. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Quran through revelation. And some of the Quraysh of Mecca believed in it and some disbelieved in it. وَلَوْلَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكِ And if it weren't for a decree that had come from your Lord. If it had not been for a prior decree from your Lord. بِتَأْخِيرِ hisab, And what is that prior decree? Of delaying accountability. وَالْجَزَائِ And repayment. لِلْخَلَائِقِ For all of creation. إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Until the day of judgment. So had it not been for a prior decree from your Lord. And what is that decree? Right? بِتَأْخِيرِ hisab, Of delaying accountability, judgment, wal-jaza'i, and recompense, repayment, lil-khala'iqi, for all of creation, ila yawm al-qiyamah, until the day of judgment, laqudiyya baynahum, their differences would have been settled. A decision would already have been made between them, fi dunya in the life of this world, 
fi maqtalafu fi regarding what they disagreed upon and regarding what they disagreed in meaning what's the truth and what's not what's belief what's disbelief wa innahum ay al mukaddibina bihi and truly they meaning those who disbelieve in the quran and in the torah and in scripture la fi shakkin are truly in doubt minhum muribin grave doubt yani muqi'in fi riba they're like going deeper and deeper into doubt wa inna kullan lamma la yuwaffiyannahum rabbuka a'malahum and surely your lord will fully pay all for their deeds your lord will give everyone full due for whatever they have done innahu bima ya'maluna khabir he is certainly all aware of what they do. So, wa inna, he says, bitajdidi wa takhfifi. There are two different ways of reciting the word inna here. It can be with bitajdidi, with a shadda, wa inna, or bitajfif, and without the shadda, wa in. Kulla, a kulla al khalaiqi, meaning all of them, right? All of them, all of creation all of mankind here he says lama and then he's uh, imam suyuti rahimullah is using a different qira'ah he's using a different recitation that has lama lam plus meem and he says the ma is za'ida here grammatically speaking the meem alif is extra walamu mawti'atun liqasmin muqaddarin right it's like taking the place of a um inferred oath of an inferred oath or it's just to differentiate and separate, meaning wa inna kullan lama yani wallahi. It can mean wallahi by God. Wa fi qira'atin bi tajdidi lama. And in another qira'ah, which is the one that we are more familiar with, there's a shadda on the meme. Lama, and in that case, it means illa. It's like a harful istifna. It's like a, a particle of exclusion. فَإِنَّافِيَةً And then the word in before it would be نَافِيَةً لَيُوَفِّيَنَّهُمْ رَبُّكَ أَعْمَالَهُمْ And surely your Lord will fully pay all for their deeds. A جَزَاءَهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will repay everyone for their deeds in full. وَإِنْ إِنَّهُ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ Truly he is all aware of what they do عَالِمٌ بِبَوَاطِنِهِ كَظَوَاهِرِهِ right, He knows of the inside just as the outside He knows of the internal just as he knows the external قَالَ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ فَاسْتَقِمْ عَلَى الْعَمَلِ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّكَ وَالدُّعَاءِ إِلَيْهِ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَلْيَسْتَقِمْ مَنْ تَابَ آمَنَ مَعَكْ وَلَا تَطْغَوْ تُجَاوِزُوا حُدُودَ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ فَيُجَازِيكُمْ بِهِ وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا تَمِيلُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا بِمَوَدَّةِ أَوْ مُدَاهَنَةِ أَوْ رِضًا بِأَعْمَالِهِمْ يعني وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا تَمِيلُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا بِمَوَدَّةٍ أَوْ مُدَاهَنَةٍ أَوْ رِضًا بِأَعْمَالِهِمْ فَتَمَسَّكُمْ تُصِيبَكُمُ النَّارُ وَمَا لَكُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَيْ غَيْرَهُ مِنْ زَائِدَةٌ أَوْ لِيَاءَ يَحْفَظُونَكُمْ مِنْهُ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ تُمْنَعُونَ مِنْ عَذَابِهِ Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directly and he's reminding him to have istiqamah to be firm, strong and steadfast just as he has been commanded to do so فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ So be steadfast as you are commanded. وَمَنْ تَابَ مَعَكَ وَلَا تَطْغَبْ Along with those who turn in submission to Allah with you. وَلَا تَطْغَوْ And don't transgress. Don't overstep the limits. إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ Surely he is all-seeing of what you do. So فَاسْتَقِمْ عَلَى الْعَمَلِ be steadfast, remain firm, strong and steadfast upon action, upon work. Bi amri rabbik. 
with the command of your Lord. Right? Remain steadfast upon doing and obeying the command of your Lord. What dua ilayh? And calling and inviting towards it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to have istiqamah. To remain steadfast upon whatever he is doing. To remain steadfast upon the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inviting and calling others towards it. Kama umirt. As you have been commanded to do so. And according to a few riwayat, according to a few narrations, this was a very difficult and heavy and burdensome verse upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I believe it was Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma who said, that this is what caused his hair to turn gray. Right. مَنْ تَابَ آمَنَ معك. And those who have repented should remain steadfast along with you. And here Imam Suyuti says the word taba means amana. And those who believe should remain firm, strong and steadfast along with you. وَلَا تَطْغَوْ And don't cross the limits. Don't cross the bounds. Tujawizu hudud Allah. Don't cross the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Innahu bima ta'maluna basir. Surely he is all seeing of what you do. Fayujazi kumbi. And he will repay you and reward you for it. Wala tarukanu ila ladina ranamu fatama sakumun nam. Wama la kum mindun ilahi min awliya athumala tun sarun. And don't be inclined to the wrongdoers, or you will be touched by the fire. For then you would have no protection other than Allah, nor will you be helped. وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا تَمِيلُوا right. Do not incline إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَنَمُوا Do not incline towards those who have done wrong. I mean, don't let your heart soften up towards them. Or do not incline towards those that have done dhun, bima waddatin, right? Through having uh, warm feelings for them, literally having love for them. Aw mudahana, mudahana hiya taruk al amri bil ma'roof wa nahi al munkar. Aw ridan bi a'malihim, right? Um, mudahana means to abandon and leave, enjoining good and forbidding evil. So don't incline towards them through love, by your heart softening to them, or by not commanding them with good and forbidding them from evil, or actually being content and pleased with what they're doing. Right. If you do so, fire will touch you, literally, meaning the fire will afflict you. And if that happens, that you will have no protector besides Allah, nor will you be helped. So, right, you will have no one besides Allah. And he says, Minher is Zaida. Grammatically speaking, it's something extra, but it's there for emphasis. You will have no protectors besides Allah that will safeguard you from Him. And then you will not be helped. You will not be protected and prevented from his punishment. Rahimahullah. <laughs> نزلت في من قبل أجنبية فأخبره صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال ألي هذا قال لجميع أمتي كلهم رواه الشيخان ذلك ذكرى للذاكرين عظة للمتعظين واصبر يا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم على أذى قومك أو على الصلاة فإن الله لا يضيع أجر المحسنين بالصبر على الطاعة here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining a very, very important principle that we have within Islam. First is the command to establish prayer. 
And second is the principle that good deeds erase bad deeds, particularly our minor sins. Establish prayer at both ends of the day and during parts of the night. Surely good deeds wipe out evil deeds. That is a reminder for those who are mindful. Or that is a reminder for those who are, who remember and who will be reminded. So here Imam Sayyuti Rahimullah says, وَأَقِيمِ الصَّلَاةَ تَرَفَ يِنَّهَرُ Establish prayer at both ends of the day. Al-Ghadata wal ashiya Al-Ghadata is the morning. And al ashiya is described as the time from Zawal until Maghrib. From right after the sun passes its zenith all the way until sunset is described as al ashi So he says when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says establish prayer at the two ends of the day, this includes as-subha wal-dhuhra wal-asra. It includes salatul fajr, salatul dhuhr, as well as salatul asr. Wa zulafan, jam'u zulfa, the word zulafan is the plural of the word zulfa, a ta'ifa. And during parts, portions of the night. And he says the portions of the night are al maghrib wal Isha. Maghrib and Isha. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanding the believers, you know, the Prophet sallallahu and by extension all of his followers, to pray five times a day. And not just to pray, but to establish prayer. To pray properly, on time, in congregation if possible, fulfilling all of the integrals and preconditions and wajibat and sunan and adab praying by following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam along with humility and concentration in al hasanat then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this very beautiful principle that we have within islam that truly good deeds ka salawat al khams like the five daily prayers yudhibna sayyiat wipe away bad deeds wipe away evil deeds and here he clarifies imam suyuti clarifies it means minor sins because major sins require tawbah major sins require repentance and then he highlights the background of revelation the sabab nuzul or the cause of revelation he says nazalat fi man ajnabiyatan this verse was revealed regarding a companion who kissed a non-related woman and then he felt this extreme sense of remorse and regret and he came to the Prophet ﷺ, and the Prophet ﷺ told him this verse that good deeds erase bad deeds so he says Aliyahada, he says this for me specifically قَالْ لِجَمِيعِ أُمَّةِ كُلِّهِمْ the Prophet ﷺ says no this is for my entire ummah all of them Rabahu al-Shaykhan. This is narrated by both Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, rahimahullah. And according to the riwayat, the name of this particular companion is Abu al-Yusr, radiyallahu uh, He himself narrates the story that a woman came to me to purchase dates. So I told her that inside of my house, there are much better dates. Right? There's better quality dates inside of my house. So she entered the house along with me and I kissed her. And then I felt this regret and remorse. So I went to Abu Bakr radiallahu an and I mentioned that to him. He says, Ustur ala nafsik. Right? Conceal your own fault, conceal your, sin, your sins, wa tub. And repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa la tukhbir And don't tell anyone else. This is between you and Allah. Do tawbah, repent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you, conceal your faults. But again, the companions were different. They were a different breed. So he still felt this guilt, this remorse. So he went to Umar radiallahu anh. And he told him what happened. Umar radiallahu anh said the same thing. Ustura ala nafsik. I conceal your faults, conceal your sin. Wa tub. Repent. Wa la tukhbir ahadan. Don't tell anyone. Falam asbir. He says, I could not remain patient until I came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I told him what happened. 
And then he waited for a while until this verse was revealed to him. So then he says, Is this rule specific for, for me or for everyone? The Prophet said this is for everyone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy and grace has given us so many opportunities throughout the day to do good deeds that will automatically erase and wipe away our minor sins. Those that we did knowingly or unknowingly, those that we did publicly or privately, right? those that we are aware of and those that we are even unaware of. That is the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, That is a reminder for those that will accept this reminder. That is a reminder for those who remember عِضَةٌ Right, this is an admonition, a reminder, a lesson للمتعظين, for those who actually accept and take lessons. وَاصْبِرْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And be steadfast, patient, patiently endure. Allah does not discount the reward of the, those who do good. Right, Allah does not let the rewards of those who do good go to waste. So وَاصْبِرْ يَا مُحَمَّدُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ have sabr, be strong, firm, steadfast, persevere, endure. O Muhammad sallallahu in the face of the harm of your people. Right? Or have sabr upon salah, remain steadfast upon prayer. Because truly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not let the reward of those who do good go to waste. And how do they do good? How are they muhsinin? Bi sabri ala ta'a. By having sabr upon acts of obedience. Qala rahimahullah. Falawla. Fahalla kana min al quruni. Al umami al maudiyati. Min kablikum ulu baqiyatin. Ashabu deenin wa fadlin. Yan hona alil fasadi fil arudi al muradu bihi al nafu e. Ma kana fihim dhanik. Inna. لَكِنَّ قَلِيلًا مِمَّنْ أَنْجَيْنَا مِنْهُمْ نَهَوْ فَنَجَوْ وَمِنْ لِلْبَيَانِ وَاتَّبَعَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا بِالْفَسَادِ وَتَرْكِ النَّهِي مَا أُتْرِفُوا نَعِمُوا فِيهِ وَكَانُوا مُجْرِمِينَ وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ لِيُهْلِكَ الْقُرَى بِظُلْمٍ مِنْهُ لَهَا وَأَهْلُهَا مُصْلِحُونَ مُؤْمِنُونَ So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَوْلَا كَانَ مِنَ الْقُرُونِ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ أُلُوْ بَقِيَّةٍ يَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْفَسَادِ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مِمَّنْ أَنْجَيْنَا مِنْهُمْ If only there had been among the destroyed peoples before you, O believers, virtuous individuals who forbade corruption in the land, other than the few we had saved. وَاتَّبَعَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مَا أُتْرِفُوا فِيهِ وَكَانُوا مُجْرِمِينَ but the wrongdoers pursued their worldly pleasures, becoming criminals, becoming wicked. فَلَوْلَا فَهَلَّا If only. كَانَ مِنَ الْقُرُونِ الْأُمُّمِ الْمَاضِيَةِ If only from the past nations. مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ That came before you. أُلُو بَقِيَّةِ أَصْحَابُ دِينٍ وَفَضِّلٍ Right. If only there had been among the generations before your time people with a remnant of good sense. Ulu baqiya ashabu deenin wa fadlin. Right. People of religion and virtue. Yanhawna anil fasadi fil ard. That stopped, prohibited, and forbade corruption on the earth. Al-Muradu bihi an And he says what the intended meaning here is negation. Ma kana fihim dhalik. Meaning didn't exist. Th th those types of people did not exist in the previous nations. Illa lakin qalina mimman anjayna minhum. Except for the few that we had saved. Uh, so lakinna qalina mimman anjayna minhum. Right, except for the few that we have saved. Right, they forbade 
corruption on the earth, فَنَجَوْ So they were saved. وَمِن الْبَيَانِ And he says the min there is to clarify and explain. وَاتَّبَعَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مَا أُتْرِفُوا فِيهِ And the wrongdoers only pursued their worldly pleasures. The unjust, the wrongdoers, pursued the enjoyment of plenty. وَكَانُوا مُجْرِمِينَ And literally they were criminals. So وَاتَّبَعَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا and those who did wrong, bil fasadi through corruption, nahi, and abandoning forbidding evil, ma utrifu na'imu fihi. Right, they the, those who did wrong, and those that were unjust, followed their pleasures. Right, they followed and pursued their worldly pleasures. Wakanu mujrimin, and they were criminals. They were wrongdoers. وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ لِيُهْلِكَ الْقُرَىٰ بِظُلْمٍ وَأَهْلُهَا مُصْلِحُونَ And your Lord would never destroy a town unjustly while its people were acting righteously. So, وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ لِيُهْلِكُ الْقُرَىٰ بِظُلْمٍ مِنْهُ لَهَا Your Lord, right? your Lord would never destroy a society unjustly. بِظُلْمٍ مِنْهُ لَهَا with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being unjust to them. وَأَهْلُهَا مُصْلِحُونَ While its people were acting righteously, mu'minun, while its people were believers. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَجَعَلَ النَّاسَ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ وَكُلًّا نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ وَجَاءَكَ فِي هَذِهِ الْحَقُّ وَمَوْعِظَةٌ وَذِكْرَى لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَقُلْ لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ اَعْمَلُوا عَلَى مَكَانَتِكُمْ إِنَّا عَامِلُونَ وَانْتَظِرُوا إِنَّا مُنْتَظِرُونَ وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَإِلَيْهِ يُرْجَعُ الْأَمْرُ كُلُّهُ فَاعْبُدُهُ وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَيْهِ وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ قال رحمه الله وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَجَعَلَ النَّاسَ أُمَّةً وَاحِدَةً أَهْلَ دِينٍ وَاحِدٍ وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ فِي الدِّينِ, في الدين إِلَّا مَا رَحِمَ رحم رَبُّكَ أَرَادَ لَهُمُ الْخَيْرَ فَلَا يَخْتَلِفُونَ فِيهِ وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ أي أهل الإختلاف له وأهل الرحمة لها وتمت كلمة ربك وهي لَأَمْنَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ الْجِنِّ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ وَكُلًّا نُصِبَ بِي نَقُصُّ وَتَنْوِينُهُ عِوَضٌ مِنَ الْمُضَافِ إِلَيْهِ أي كُلَّمَا يُحْتَاجُ إِلَيْهِ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ مَا بَدَلٌ مِنْ كُلًّا نُثَبِّتُ نُطَمِّنُ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ قَلْبَكَ وَجَاءَكَ فِي هَذِهِ الْأَنْبَاءِ أَوْ الْآيَاتِ الْحَقُّ وَمَوْعِظَةٌ وَذِكْرَى لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ خُصُّوا بِالذِّكْرِ لِانْتِفَاعِهِمْ بِهَا فِي الْإِيمَانِ بِخِلَافِ الْكُفَّارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَجَعَلَ النَّاسَ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا If your Lord had willed, He would have certainly made humanity one single community. If your Lord had willed, He would have made all of mankind a single community. وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفٍ But they continue to have their differences. So, وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ If your Lord had willed, لَجَعَلَ النَّاسَ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا He would have made all of mankind one single community. أَهْلَ دِينٍ وَاحِدٍ People of one religious community. Right? People of one particular way of life. وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ فِي الدِّينِ But they continue to have differences in deen. They will always differ 
in deen. إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ Except those shown mercy by your Lord. Except those on whom your Lord has mercy. وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ For He created them to be this way. Right? He created mankind to be like this. وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ And the word of your Lord is final. The word of your Lord will be fulfilled. I will certainly fill up hell with jinn and humans all together. So, إِلَّا مَا رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ Except those on whom your Lord has mercy. أَرَادَ لَهُمُ الْخَيْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended a khair for them. فَلَا يَخْتَلِفُونَ فِي So they don't differ. They don't disagree regarding deen, regarding religion. وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ And He created them to be this way. أَيْ أَهْلَ الْإِخْتِلَافِ لَهُ He created the people that had ikhtilaf and differed regarding deen for that purpose. وَأَهْلَ الرَّحْمَةِ لَهَا And he created the people of Rahma for that Rahma. وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ And the word of your Lord is complete, will be fulfilled. And that kalima is referring to Allah's decree, His divine decree. And that is what he had the following. لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْجِنِّ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ That I will surely fill up hell with jinn and humans all together. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed from eternity that there will be jinn and humans destined for hell. But there will also be jinn and humans destined for paradise. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing the surah to a conclusion and he highlights one of the main objectives of surah Hud itself and also one of the main objectives behind these stories and narratives that are mentioned in the Qur'an. وَكُلَّنْ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ And we relate to you the stories of the messengers to reassure your heart, to make your heart firm, to strengthen your heart. وَجَاءَكَ فِي هَذِهِ الْحَقُّ وَمَوْعِظَةٌ وَذِكْرَى لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And there has come to you in this the truth, lessons, right? The truth, a warning to the non-believers and a reminder for the believers. And in these accounts, truth has come to you as well as lessons and reminders for the believers. So here, Imam Suyuti rahimullah says, وَكُلًّا He says the word kullan here, nusiba is in the grammatical state of nasan bi naqussu because of the verb naqussu that's going to be mentioned right after wa tanwinuhu and the reason why it's in uh, there's a tanween the reason why there's a double vowel iwadun anil mudafi ilay is because it replaces the mudaf ilay and he clarifies what that mudaf ilay is a kullama yuhtaju ilay that everything that is required we relate to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. كُلَّمَا يُحْتَاجُ إِلَيْهِ Everything that is required and needed for success in this world and the next, نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ We relate to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ From the stories of the messengers. Right, from the stories of the messengers. And he says here, مَا بَدَلٌ مِنْ كُلَّنْ it's the badal, it's the replacement for the word and substitute for the word kullan, a nuthabitu nutamminu bihi fuad qalbak. That to make your heart firm, nutamminu, to make your heart content, to give it itminan, to give it contentment, to give it strength, reassurance. Wajaaka fi hadihi al ambai aw al ayat al haqku. And in these um, stories or in these verses al haq the truth has come to you wa mawidatun and lessons wa dhikra and reminder 
للمؤمنين for the believers. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually highlighting four purposes, four objectives behind these particular accounts, narratives, and stories. Number one, to console, comfort, reassure the Prophet sallallahu to strengthen his heart, to strengthen his resolve. All right, number two, al-haqq. These are the true versions of these events and stories. Mawidah, they serve as very powerful lessons. And number four, dhikra, they are reminders lil mu'minin for the believers. Khusu bi dhikri, right? The believers have been mentioned specifically lin tifa'ihim bihafil iman, because they benefit from these. Uh, lessons, reminders in terms of their iman bi kuffar as opposed to the non-believers qala rahimahullah wa qul lil ladhina la yu'minun a'malu ala makanatikum halatikum inna amilun ala halatina tahdeedun lahum wa antadiru aqibata amrikum inna muntadirun thalik wa lillahi ghaybu samawati wal ard ay ilmu ma ghaba fihima wa ilayhi yarji'u بالبناء للفاعل يعود وللمفعول يرد الأمر كله فينتقم ممن عصى فاعبده وحده وتوكل عليه ثق به فإنه كافيك وما ربك بغافل عما يعملون وإنما يؤخرهم لوقتهم وفي قراءة بالفوقانية الله سبحانه وتعالى says وَقُلْ لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ اِعْمَلُوا عَلَى مَكَانَتِكُمْ إِنَّا عَامِلُونَ Say to those who disbelieve, do whatever you can. Persist in your ways. We too are doing what we can, because we will certainly persist in ours. وَقُلْ يعني say, لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Right, say to those who don't believe. اِعْمَلُوا عَلَى مَكَانَتِكُمْ حَالَتِكُمْ Keep doing what you're doing. Persist in your ways. Inna amilun because we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Ala halatina, we are going to persist in our ways. Tahdeedun lahum, and this is a warning to them, a threat. Wantaziru, inna muntaziru, and wait. We too are waiting. Wantaziru aqibata amrikum, right? Wait for the end. Of your affair, inna muntaziruna dhalik, because we too are waiting for that. وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَإِلَيْهِ يُرْجَعُ الْأَمْرُ كُلُّهُ فَاعْبُدْهُ وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَيْهِ To Allah belongs the knowledge of what is hidden in the heavens and the earth. And to Him, all matters are returned. So worship Him and put your trust in Him. وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِذٍ عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ And your Lord is never unaware. Of what you do. وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Alright. To Allah alone belongs the knowledge of what is hidden in the heavens and the earth. إِعِلْمُ مَا غَابَ فِيهِمَا Alright. Knowledge of what is hidden in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah and Allah alone. وَإِلَيْهِ يَرْجِعُ here, Imam Suyuti is using a different qira'a, a different recitation. Bil binai lil fa'i. Yani it's in the active voice. Ya'udu. Meaning, al amru kulluhu. All affairs and all matters come back to Allah. They return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walil maf'ul. And in another qira'a, it's uh, recited in the passive voice, which is the one that we are more familiar with. Yuruja'u al amru kulluhu. All affairs will be returned to him. Yuraddu. فَيَنْتَقِمُ مِمَّنْ عَصَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold those who disobeyed and uh, committed acts of disobedience accountable. And يَنْتَقِمُ means to take revenge, but it literally means to hold accountable. فَعْبُدْهُ So worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. وَحِدْهُ Affirm, acknowledge, believe in his oneness. Believe in Allah alone and worship Him alone without any partners. وَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَيْهِ And place your trust in Him. ثِقْ بِهِ Depend and rely upon Allah alone. فَإِنَّهُ كَافِيكَ 
because he is enough for you. Allah is sufficient for you. وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِنٍ عَمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ And your Lord is not um, unaware of what they do. Here he's using aya, which is the third person. وَإِنَّمَا يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ لِوَقْتِهِمْ Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only delaying them until their appointed time, their appointed term to be held accountable. وَفِي قِرَاءَةٍ And another قِرَاءَةٍ بِالْفَوْقَانِيَ يعني وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا تَعْمِلُونَ And your Lord is not unaware of what you do, which is the qira'ah that we are more familiar with. And that brings us to an end of Surah Hud. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this from us, to place it on our scale of good, uh, good deeds on the Day of Judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who not only recite the Qur'an, but try our best to actually understand it, who think, reflect, and ponder over its meanings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who live by the Qur'an and who build our lives upon the teachings and guidance of the Qur'an. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us amongst Ahlul Qur'an. الَّذِينَ هُمْ أَهْلُ اللَّهِ وَخَاصَتُهُ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Qur'an a proof for us, not a proof against us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Qur'an an intercessor for us on the Day of Judgment. Inshallah, in our next lesson, we will start off with Surah Yusuf. وَصَلِّ اللَّهُمَّ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا وَمَوْلَانَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلِّمْ جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ